All new at five, mold could be growing inside your washing machine and you may not even know it. Lawyers for consumers accuse some top companies of making defective front-loading washers. Call 6 investigator Kara Kinney joins us now with what it could mean for you and your clothes. Many people love front loaders because they're quiet, they use less water, and they look great. But consumers across the country say the washers ruin their clothes. What's more, lawyers accuse some companies of knowing about the mold problem and trying to cover it up. I'm going to run a load and dry them and start using them. Ruth Ogden is excited to wash towels for the first time in a long time. Because I have a new washing machine that does not have the odor. She has a new machine now, but around 2004, she bought a Whirlpool Duet front loader. And that was probably a year or two after we bought the washer, we started noticing an odor in like our towels. It smelled like an old, dirty dish rag. Ruth blamed her son for years. My son was a typical teenage slob. We all thought that the odor from him was getting into our clothes. The family threw out hundreds of dollars worth of clothes. I pulled the soap dispenser out, and in the back of the soap dispenser, where you normally would not look, was full of black, mildewy, mold-looking stuff. Ruth says she tried a slew of products to try to get rid of the mold. Bleach, vinegar, ammonia, baking soda, even a fresh, which is sold by Whirlpool, and she says nothing worked. Whirlpool's duet washer, like the one Ruth had, is the focus of a class action lawsuit. Lawyers for consumers allege the washers sold between 2001 and 2008 without a steam feature had serious design defects that caused mold and mildew. The bottom line is the washers don't clean themselves properly the way a properly designed washer should clean itself. Mark Kalos represents consumers in the class action suit against Whirlpool and alleges the company failed to warn consumers. Going back into the early 90s, they knew they had a problem with the design. The Call 6 investigators found similar lawsuits involving mold against other top companies, including LG, Bosch, GE, and Kenmore. This lawsuit filed just last month against Electrolux alleges the company concealed material facts regarding some of its Frigidaire front loaders, including, quote, defects in the stainless steel drums. <laughs> Lawyers say millions of consumers could be impacted by this mold problem in their washers and not even realize it. They say people spend money trying to fix the problem, tossing clothes or buying a new machine. A lot of the muck in, in mold and mildew and biological matter is accumulating behind the drum and in other places inside the washer that you couldn't see readily just by looking at the machine. So people don't immediately realize it's their washer that's the problem. They assume it's something else. Whirlpool released a statement pointing out it produces more than 20,000 washers each day at its Ohio plant. Quote, a small minority, less than 3% of owners have reported instances of odor or mold. The false allegations being made in lawsuits about our innovative front-loading washing machines target products made before 2009 and are without merit. The plaintiff attorneys driving this litigation are hoping to collect millions of dollars in fees, even on behalf of the more than 97% of owners of these machines who are completely satisfied and have no complaints. Companies have made design improvements to their machines, and experts say the new front loaders for sale have virtually eliminated mold, with special vents in the back, hold open doors to get air inside, and even self-cleaning cycles. The new washing machines have put an actual cycle in, rather than just running it on a regular cycle, have put a basket clean or washer clean cycle physically into your options. Experts say you can cut down on mold by removing damp clothes immediately, only using high efficiency detergent, running a cleaning cycle, and leaving the door open when not in use. Ruth leaves the door open on her new machine and says if she has mold issues again, she'll buy another one. Most of the machines named in the lawsuits were sold between 2001 and 2008. If you think you might have a mold problem in your machine, contact the company who made it. Kara Kenny, RTV6. Electrolux, Frigidaire's parent company, released this statement to us. We are vigorously defending ourselves in this matter. We have complete statements from top companies facing lawsuits over moldy washers on our website, theindychannel.com, as well as model numbers named in those suits. You'll find that on the homepage.